that picture went around the world and really helped to change people's perspective on the war. And many people, including me, attribute the notion that that, that is one of the images that did help to stop the Vietnam War. Uh, and that helped lead me to the notion that a work of art can stop a bullet from being fired. And so I include it in exhibitions in that, and sometimes people scratch their head. Our society looks at a particular image in a photograph, and this becomes an iconic image that artists use, whether that there was the intent of the photographer or not. For me, that's uh, profoundly irrelevant. It's really a question of what we do with it. The worst enemy of any artist is sentiment. It's not about sentiment. It's not about trying to make someone feel, uh, oh, uh, pitiful. It's a flash of light on the truth. And it's not always pleasant. And very often we have to turn away. We say, oh my God, the little girl running towards us had just been napalmed. The naked truth of that. It raises a consciousness in a deeply personal way which says, I know you saw that. Now what? I wanted to include the names of people whose work had influenced me or who had spoken in terms of human rights or peace. And that goes back to Marcel Duchamp, it goes back to Charlie Chaplin, it goes back to a whole range of people from the early 20th century uh, through to today, including the Dixie Chicks or Kurt Vonnegut as a writer, uh, Ai Weiwei. It seemed that they really needed to be the foundation of the work. And for me, they've often been a foundation in a sense. And not all of them are terribly famous, the, the names on this, but they're all people who have had some influence on my thinking or their work has. The only regret about having been arrested for social justice as many times as I was is that I didn't start earlier and that I wasn't arrested more because it had the most profound effect. I mean, I was in New York for the entire 60s, so I was involved in the civil rights uh, protests and, and the anti-war movement. I was in Philadelphia when I first went to art school there in the very early 60s. There were a lot of issues, all of which were incredibly significant and which had I extraordinary people. So we had Martin Luther King on the one hand dealing with things to do with the, the civil rights movement and peace generally, and people like Daniel Berrigan, the Jesuit priest who was a strong force against conscription and against uh, the Vietnam War. I heard something that Dan said after his conviction for the Catonsville Nine uh, action in 1968, and he was going to prison after the trial, and he went on the lam, he went underground, and he would surface every now and then at rallies, and just before he was captured, he was at a gathering of friends, and he was urging them to protest, and if necessary, to go to jail. You're going to have to go to jail to end this war. And somebody said, oh, Father Berrigan, it's all well and good for you to go to jail. You don't have any children. What about us? We have children. What's going to happen to our children if we go to jail? And Dan Berrigan said, what's going to happen to them if you don't? Somewhere in the mid-60s, maybe 66, 67, I worked on a mural with a mentor of mine named Paul Keane. Paul was an African-American artist who was a teacher at the Philadelphia College of Art. And he was a, a great uh, guide and model for me. And during this time, while I was working with Paul and living in Philadelphia with my wife and, and, uh, and then later child, there were riots which were occurring, very severe riots. 
The work with Paul was probably the first thing I worked on. And mind you, there's very little of my hand that still shows. He painted over everything I did, I'm sure. But it was the first work which actually probably did deal with direct social issues. And for me, the idea of how we should be able to live better together than we do is, is a seed that was planted at that time. But I think there was a period there where there was a lot of optimism. With free love and, you know, sticking flowers down rifles and it's really going to change the world. All kinds of people overcoming all kinds of differences, doing enjoyable work that was also a matter of struggle, kind of confrontation that also made you feel good. There were so many examples of actors specifically uh, that have spoken out against the social justice uh, war. And they have been criticized by the media, by a lot of their fellow actors, and generally by the political norms of the time that, well, what do you, what do you, you're just an actor. What do you know about what's going on? Mind your own damn business. But as we well know, uh, you don't have to be a genius to have a, a, a public life, you know, and get paid for it, or get voted to it. And these days, the bar has been practically non-existent. 